If a penis shriveled up at age 52, we'd probably have a vaccine sponsored by Pfizer, right? This is, this is, <laughs> they created Viagra, they would create this, this vaccine. No one even tells I, I women. I love that analogy. So you're saying if by the time a man became 50, his penis became a shriveled up useless organ, you, you, you're, you're saying that the medical system would have probably done something about this? think, right? Like, <laughs> tell me what you think. Doctors don't even know the symptoms of menopause. Patients don't even know the symptoms of menopause, right? I think of hormones like fluid. So as you lose the hormones or the hormones go too high or too low, it dries everything out. The hormones keep the tissue acidic. It grows the healthy lactobacilli. It is, uh, the vagina is supposed to be acidic. It's supposed to be able to fight infection. And without proper hormones, you lose that ability to fight infection. So you see urinary frequency, urinary urgency, vaginal dryness, increase in leakage, increase in urge incontinence, and recurrent urinary tract infections, which can and do kill people. When you do a low dose local vaginal estrogen or DHEA product, you can reduce your risk of urinary tract infections by more than half. They are safe to use if you've had a history of blood clots, breast cancer, whatever medical problem you can come at me, I can tell you that it's safe. It's also inexpensive and covered by your insurance. If everybody in Medicare eligibility used vaginal estrogen, we would save Medicare between six and $22 billion a year. And in my opinion, that is a conservative estimate because of how many patients are getting urinary tract infections. They're going to their doctor for cultures. They're in the ICU with sepsis. And we have a box labeling that says this product causes stroke, heart attacks, blood clots, probable dementia, breast cancer, and needs to be taken with progesterone. Not one of those statements is true. Not one.